Okay, I talk about a lot about fish rescue, giving the best homes, and I need to rescue my fish. So I have a fish, you guys know, the big red tail, seen at the bottom, he, he's in a PVC pipe, has him picking on a shovel nose, which you can barely see him, spraying inside the tank right there. He doesn't look too good. And when that starts to happen, so very simple this, if a bully picks somebody else and he keeps doing it, they are submissive. They just lay back and they're just like, oh, keep picking on me, that's good. Keep doing it, right? Because I noticed yesterday in the last couple of feedings, the shovel nose isn't doing that good. He's not going for his food and I'm showing little marks on his body because, you know, these are nocturnal fish and they probably pick each other at nighttime, especially the bully, the red-tailed catfish. So with a big tank like this, 180 gallons you can't simply just order something online right this is very awesome as far as size but everybody has that so i gotta make a run to my local lowe's make a custom separation or divider for this tank this size asap so i'm gonna go right now to lowe's just got off work and i want to shout out to my buddy at sc fish keeping i saw one of his older videos how he did it I'm mean, still his idea because it was cool. But I'm kind of making a little twist on my end because I'm working with a tank versus working with a pond. So stay tuned. I'm gonna run a loads right now, get the supplies I need so I can make that DIY divider. Let's save the shovel nose now. Let's try to get out of the sun, but I made it to Lowe's now. I'm gonna make that custom DIY separation. You guys will stay tuned, I'm gonna need, so I'm gonna need PVC pipe, I need a cutter, I'm gonna need a brick, I need some cheap netting to strap down the netting around the custom PVC pipe. In addition to that, I need some zip ties, which I already have at home. I need some suction cups, because what I'm thinking is putting suction cups to keep it fixed on actual equipment itself. But remember, it's, it's DIY, so I don't know what I need to buy, but I need to save him, so let's go into Lowe's. So, it's time to do the build, and it's time to recognize what? First thing to recognize is we all have choices. They can, we can deem them good, bad, right, or wrong. I mean, you can put a label on that's a good choice, it's a bad choice, that's favorable, it's not favorable, this happened, that happened, whatever. You can label anything you want. So that brings us to my point, is I decided to label myself the monster fish keeper. So what that means is that, because what that is stress, right? It could be self-imposed, it could be exterior imposed, but I chose to house very aggressive fish, new to the, new to the game of monster fish keeping, for one, um, I've done some research on some of these fish, but still, do all the research. Sometimes things just don't work out the way you expect it, or sometimes things don't happen. I expected the red-tailed catfish to, to have enough space and not pick on somebody else. I expected the shovel nose, which is almost the same size, almost as red tail didn't. So I recognize I impose this on myself, and I want to take responsibility in that. So everything in life you impose on yourself, you also take the time to take responsibility on overcoming that and that's what I'm gonna do take responsibility take care of my fish and comes with some stress comes with some time but I'm gonna do that and so can you we're back in the monster fish room I'm gonna start calling myself monster fish keeper of PNW Pacific Northwest so what I have in front of us is a DIY barrier separation, whatever you guys want to call it, in my tank. So what I had to do is I went to Home Depot. I got, oh, how big is this? 20 foot of fencing. So for those that live out here, that's what you use to keep your deers out, chickens inside the coop. I got some pre-cut PVC pipe, about two inches, not two inches, two feet apart. So that's one, got four of these. I got bricks, I got zip ties. I got a cutter to cut this. I got this cutter to cut the zip ties, and of course, you've got to have a measuring tank. So, what I'm going to do is I talk about, let me actually let me talk about, let me show you. 
So I'm gonna take this camera off and out of here and let me just show you what needs to happen. So let me walk right over here to my 180. So you see Shovel Nose, right? He's looking not looking a little sad, looking a little beat up because the big guy, the bully, is picking on him. So what that means is I gotta put a small separation, probably right here, to keep him on that side and give him a chance to heal until the pond is ready, right? So excuse the mess, but I'm doing a lot of projects down here by myself when I have time away from work. So Well, after getting wet and after I have to change my clothes, I'm doing this on my lunch breaks. Like I said, I'm trying to shave, save the shovel nose. The DIY project is complete. And you guys can see the shovel nose. Where is it? Right there on the side by the pipe. It's definitely a little cloudy. Got a little picked up. I have to replace some air pumps that got messed up. Some of the fish are not happy. So you can see, Arowana look too happy. The doba is not happy. The red tail, I guess is fat and happy, he's okay. But as long as this, this DYI can hold up, it can use enough time for the show and nose to get back better and be repaired. Repair as far as killing his fans and creating some separation. So some people will be upset and we'll have to stay tuned to see what happens.